Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here and welcome to another episode of the Wolverhampton Wanderers career mode in FIFA 19. This episode is going to be a bit of a special one. It may go for a little longer because today I normally play three games per episode and sim the rest and we go a month at a time. Today, I'm going to have to play four because we've got too many games and too many big games in the month of December. Starting off with Everton, this team is actually on top of the Premier League table right now. So a big game, of course, uh, when you, whenever you go up against whoever's on top after 10 or so games. We've then got Spurs. They're going out of all the rest of the top six clubs. Uh, probably best or se second best to Chelsea, I would say. It's just the top six clubs in this, in this career mode are really doing quite shockingly. This game against Atletico, though, is the biggest of the bunch. We need to get at least a draw against Atletico to make sure that we get out and through into the top two of our group. If we don't do that and we lose to Atletico, then we look to the other game between Lokomotiv Moscow and Fenerbahce. We'll go through it a little further when we get there, but if Lokomotiv Moscow win and we lose, we will not make it through to the knockouts and we will end up going to have to play in the Europa League. We got off to a bloody good run in the Premier League, winning a bunch of our games, going undefeated. But then we simulated a bunch of games and we've lost four in the Premier League now. A lot of those have come quite recently. And I swear, almost all, maybe maybe I lost one and I can't quite remember. Yeah, that's right. We lost the Stoke City game, unfortunately, in the last episode. But that game, or three of those losses have all come from sim games. I've been royally screwed in simulated games recently, so I'm hoping for much bloody better this time. Sometimes people say simming games is a little bit of a cheat because, you know, you let the AI win for you. Well, pfft, what, what fucking wins? What are you talking about? I've lost a bunch of... I've, the amount of points I've dropped because of sim games, it's... Oh, that's why I'm literally in this one episode because everything is so important. So many of these games are so big. I'm playing four. I might cut down on clips that I show in each game, but still though, four big games in this episode in the final month of December until the January transfer window. Let's see if hopefully we can jump back up into the top four by the end of it. We are going away to the team currently on top of the Premier League then. Oh, Everton on top after nearly... At, we're nearly at the halfway stage and they're still on top. I need to see what team this is that's on top of the Premier League table. It's a relatively solid back four. Williams and Gabamine, Gab 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 whatever. Oh man, I've butchered that. Walcott, Zayich and uh, Julian Brandt they brought in and Senek tossing up forward. Interesting, interesting starting 11, but let's get this one underway. Here we go. I've still got it here. And that could be a very... Oh, that's a kind deflection, you know. I'll have a pop. That was cleared off the fucking line. You're shitting me. And then Martial got in the way of the follow-up shot. And then Pickford took forever to pick it up. I'm about to bust through their back four. I know I am. I, I'm coming close. I just need to get every pass to link up and to work perfectly here. Like, no, nah, that's a little deflection. Shots is not taking a clean touch. Anderson Taliska, no. Back, out this way. We're going to get there. I know we're going to get there. I believe. I believe. I believe. Come on. Is this the shot? We'll try it with Fernando. Deflected. And in. Oh, how about that? And it's going to count. It's Martial's goal. Bizarre. Anthony Martial. Uh, okay. All right, then. Uh, well, that's one way to get a goal, I suppose. Come on. Here we go. Is this another? Straight through the middle. Martial here. The stop and turn if he don't wants to do it. Oh, he's done it, but he's delayed. Oh, he fucking did it. He did it too late. And in the end, it fucked me up. Oh, that's that's perfect. What is that? A little bit of input lag that's fucked me over there. I don't know what happened, but he ended up taking like an extra touch before he did the move. Now comes the counter. Cross. Oh, that's gone over the top to Brandt. And if that was on target, I was worried. Come on, boys. We, we had a, a bit of a poor last few games in the previous episode. So that's why I need to be strong in all games against some decent opposition. Oh, please. Uh, maybe not yet. Maybe now, though. Finish that shot. It's two! Straight away from kickoff. Straight away at the beginning of the second. Jota has made it two. Oh, man. It's, it was so it was so easy for us right at the beginning of the half, wasn't it? I was worried Walcott was going to cut that off. And maybe Jota could have hit that with a little bit more venom. But still, it's found a way to get past Pickford only just. Senek Tosson, Naughty Mikile staying in front. I'm trying to stay in front. Oh, we get something on that one. Barmi I'm going to just call him Barmin from now on. I don't know if the G's on, but I literally the G's fucking me up. Stay in front of him. Oh, big tackle from Fernando. It was a heavy touch, and he's running away with this. Running and running to the left-hand side. It's, oh, it just got past. Diogo Jota is there. 
Stop and turn. Bang. Oh, it's two. He's got a th he's got a second. And now it is three for Wolverhampton. Diogo Jota is now starting to score with regularity. We missed him. He he's maybe not the highest rated attacker in the team, but God, he's quality. I'm looking for Jota, you know, he's on the hat trick, but uh, he's not really the threat. Oh, he, he is the threat from corners. Wow. He won the header, but blocked on the line by Williams. I'm going to slip him in. Can we cut it back to Jota? I'm watching. Where is Jota? He's in some space. He'll go for it. It's a... Uh, I was hoping for some sort of bicycle scissor kick attempt there. He wasn't going to beat the keeper with that sort of power and looping it over him like that. It wasn't going to happen. I, I don't think we're going to have the time for the hat trick, but we'll have to settle. A three... Nil, win against Everton, big result, and that's me finally playing at my best again. In the last episode, I was a little disappointed with myself, but that is a thorough performance and a very, very good performance from Diogo Jota with the brace. You beauty. Please, more performances just like that. That would be tremendous. So you can see now we're only a point behind Chelsea and they're, out of all the top six clubs, the only one that seemed to be actually doing what they should be doing. It's ridiculous, but... Uh, yeah, no, at least we're back up in the top four for now. A week later, we play Spurs, the team that's currently placed in ninth, yet they're the second best performing team out of all the uh, usual top six, which is mental. I've, I've been trying to sell these two players forever too, by the way, Burgoyne and Moreau, and they're just, they're not going at all. They're like every, I accept every offer, and they always come back the same. Deal could not be done. Uh, whatever, after a full, pretty much week of uh, no football whatsoever, we actually have a full almost fully fit uh, starting 11. We've got Taliska a little bit tight, but he's like the only one. It's my starting front three, my starting center midfield, and my back four. It's finally, we are at our base, pretty much our full complement. If only Taliska was at 100%, then we would be at our complete full complement of starting 11 players with full stamina. But you know what? It's just as good. We are seriously ready. And if I can put on another performance like I did against Everton, not saying it's going to be as easy against Spurs, but... I don't know, man. I'd love to go back to back against two relatively decent teams in the Prem, especially how I left it in the last episode. We see Spurs currently in 10th. They've got Liverpool highlighted. I'm not sure why, but it it is very, very close uh, toward them. Just not not necessarily the top four, but just you know, from fifth to tenth, there's there's very few points separating them. So there's still plenty of space left for rapid movement in the table. I expect maybe in about a month or so we'll see the top six actually sort of getting up toward the top six. Maybe at least four or five of them. But here we go. One more big game. Just two of four that we've got today. It's going to slip in. Martial getting hunted though. I'm not going to be able to get it back to him. So the step overs worked pretty nicely. Adama the stop and turn. Oh, this could be a hell of a run. Can he set it up at the back post? No. Edison Taliska! Just wide. Tried to react and get something on target, but no. Come on, Paradise. But fucking pay attention, mate. At least he's got that one. At least he's maybe got Jotter. He had to get through two. It, oh my god, it's a poor turnover. Real poor turnover. And blast it in! I thought that was going to get blocked for sure. Taliska, he didn't get the scissor kick, but he does get that one. There you go. Ten minutes in. We, we were battling to get the first goal against uh, Everton, despite the fact I was feeling real good. Now, straight away. Almost straight away. Uh, I got held up a little bit. That's a shame. We'll have to go backward. Taliska... I'm going to play a short one there, and a short one here. And can he? No, it just runs for him. It just runs a little too deep. Another header. Oh, it's headed it down for Adama. Who'll go first time? Gazaniga with a big save. It's just finding a way through right now, and it's... Oh, finally. No, no, no. I wanted to get it to Neves, mate. Please, they better not. Tackle. Neves, it's there again. And again, we don't get it. Aguilar, again, we don't get it. The finesse. That is fucked. <laughs> Fucking bullshit goal. And how did we not get it once there, ever? I've got to stop taking control of my defenders. I really do. I, 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 the, you know, the user should not be making tackles because the game does not fucking reward you for making tackles. Well, so why should you? Come on, get the inside shoulder there. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. You fucking weak cunt. Come on. And now he's getting away from him too. And now he's going to whip across in. Aguilar. Man, no. Ruben Vezo just got a little something on it there. Still going to stay in for him. And that cross by Alba is not very good. There we go. Didn't say shit. Didn't have to say shit. Just wanted to focus and make sure. Because right now, I, I have to make sure. I can't let these guys beat me. I can't even let them take a point. It's fucking bullshit. So you pass it to Taliska. It'll drag out the defender. I tell you what, though. Adama still had a guy get straight over to him. But thankfully, was able to get the shot off and squeeze it through him, too, didn't he? 
All right, two two. I, I I tell you what, I want to I want to win this game bad. I want to win it bad now because it's oh wow, what a shocking turnover. Away goes Martial, and now Adama. Can we get it straight away? I can see Taliska. He's a big man, but he's not getting past Lesman. Big tackle from behind. Come on, that's clean. Yeah, you better believe it is. Fucking cop that deli alley. And now we go again. Anderson Taliska driving it forward. I'm looking to switch it to the left. If we can, if we can, you better believe we can. Diogo shot to do it. Do it, Diogo shot to do it. There we go. 3 2, you beauty. Diogo shot are getting amongst the goals today, or what? 3 2. I'm going to get off attacking and go down and maybe balance defensive. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll just see this one out. I'd love to pick up a fourth. Hyung Ming Son is in here. He's getting caught. Crossed it in. Turns around Ruben Vazo. Clears it only as far as Durkin to one Yama. Can't let Durkin. I can't let a bloke with the last name Durkin. Oh, decide this game. Kane was going for something. Oh, Ronnie Lopez went for something. Saved by Patricio. Here we go then. Last attack surely for them. They played up the line. Get out. Get out. Come on. No, it's not going to get there. Kunaguero in the game. Punched away by Patricio. I forgot that they signed him. Deli Alley's there. Crossed in again. Waniyama's there. Picked off by Paradise. Knocked up forward. Not far enough, though. But surely... No, it's three minutes of stoppage time. Deflected again. Knocked forward again. And yeah, we're out. There we go. It's it's done. It's finished. We could even cap it off with a goal, hopefully, if the referee gives us time. Does he give us time? Does he give us time? Does he give us... No, he doesn't. It's not like we could manage it anyway. Get in. Come on. 3-2. And it's two wins on the trot in the Prem. Come on. We're back, we're back up to our... I'm not going to say our best, but we're doing all right. We're doing good. I've got a bit of momentum going into the Atletico Madrid game. More training once more. I, I reckon I am probably going to stop giving Vinagre drills now that he's up to 76. And I'll swap them up with someone else. Yassin Adli's up to a 75 too, you know. So I might even swap his drills up as well. Actually, you know, as a matter of fact, I, I'll keep giving Yassin Adli drills. As soon as he gets up to the same overall as uh, Jao Martino, that's when I'll stop. Because I want Yassin Adli to take over for Matinho when he starts just completely dropping off with his overall. But we have arrived to the final game in the group stage of the Champions League. Right now, we are on eight points. Lokomotiv Moscow are on five. If they win, and even if it's, let's assume it's only one nil wins here. Let's assume Lokomotiv Moscow beat Fenerbahce one nil. They will go up to eight points and they will have a even goal difference. Okay, if we were to lose then we would go down to have a negative, we'd have a negative two goal difference and we'd stay at eight points, which means they have the high goal difference, they jump us in the table. So we cannot let that happen. I just have to get a point against Atletico Madrid and if I can beat them, I'll go top of the group. And you know what? Hopefully Fenerbahce even do us a favor. That'd be great. So even if we lose, Fenerbahce get a result against Lokomotiv and it's not a problem. But again, I just, I, I'm concerned because of the last game, it had to be against Atletico, so it has to be a real struggle on ultimate because you, know, you play some good teams, you know, Premier League teams like to rotate and play younger players quite a fair bit. But when you play like teams from La Liga, Serie A and all that, nah, you're just going to get their best every single goddamn time. So I know it's going to be a tough one. I mean, the last game against these boys, we only managed to get a draw because of a 90th minute penalty. I, can't, I really cannot let that happen again. I don't think I could go through that stress again, considering the stakes here. This is maybe a little too optimistic of me as well, but hopefully Atletico Madrid are going to take it a little easy on us with their lineup, considering they're already through. I, I don't know. Maybe they will. I would absolutely love it if they did that, but looking at some of the names, Lamar, Costa, Griezmann, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Atletico Madrid continuing with what looks like their exact same... That is the exact same team that we came up against when we played them at the Wanda Metropolitano. We haven't really made any changes apart from Fernando starting at CDM and uh, Paradis actually getting a spot on the bench only because he was a bit tired, the most tired of them all. But we're underway. Just a point. Just a point at least. You know, I don't want, I want, I don't want to have that mentality, but that's all it's going to take. Ruben Bezo. Oh, I couldn't see anything up ahead of me. Cross. No. Oh, maybe. Oh, my God. It got over the top. I didn't expect it to. And Adama's finish was weak and at the near post. And you're not going to beat Yan All Black like that. No, oh, come on. You're just standing there, Fernando, man. Come on. They all ran past the ball, too. Taliska. Back to Adama here, maybe. Uh, it's a tight angle. And, yeah, he took it with his left. I don't know. Put it off target again. Oh, this could be it. It surely is. You better believe it, baby. What a finish. Get in there. That's massive. Big, big strike. We have been dominant to start this game. And it's rewarded 
with a goal by Ruben Neves. Moving it side to side, look at the cheeky little heel flick pass by Neves, and they completely forgot about him. He ran out to the right-hand side, and no defenders over there. Why not have a pop when you've got no one on you? And he's fired that into the top corner. Absolutely massive, that goal. Fantastic start to this game. Oh, they're going quick. He's onside. No, he's not. He's offside. That was their first, like, real attack of the game. And I thought they absolutely cut us to pieces. But it looks like he... It, clearly, he's offside. Uh, I guess we're about to find out by how much, though. Oh, my God. That's why I thought it was on. That was nearly a fucking great goal to score straight away as soon as they went down. But thankfully, we're still in front. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Please, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, what a... No, no, fuck me. That's my fault completely. Why did I expect my centre-back to put, run forward? Of course, it's what he always does. I've got to fill you in. I do that pass every time. Every time, and my centre-backs run to the ball every time. I passed it. I saw none of my players on screen. And as soon as he kicked it... I saw nothing but blue shirts running at the ball. It's always been my Wolves players that run straight. My centre-backs always run to pick it up. I don't know what the fuck happened there. That is a first, and it's cost us a goal. The game's just decided, oh, no, we're not going to do what we always do, and we're going to fucking bait you into giving it away and conceding a goal. So, yeah, cheers for that. Crossed in Johnny. Martial's actually got a foot to it. Oh, my God. And that nearly ended up in the net. Right-hand side. Yeah, come on. Adama's there. I'm looking at Taliska. He's getting caught, though. He's getting taken out from behind. Referee, where's the card? Get it out. Uh, I doubt we'll have time. Yeah, nah, didn't think so. All right. Tied at 1-1. Right now, it's in my favor. Or at least it's the right result. Even though I really should be 1-0 up. Oh, gosh. It's, uh, it's so annoying because it looks like such an awful goal. But trust me, I do that part every time. That has never happened before. Oh, my God. And look at the score. Lokomotiv Moscow is 1-0 up. It's a Fenerbahce doesn't look like they're going to do me any favours, will they? Oh, for the love of holy Jesus. I'm not even religious, but for the love of holy Jesus and, oh, Lord Nazareth and shit. Please, fuck's sake, boys. Let's hang on here. Lamar, I'm sticking in front of him with Adama. Just defending, just trying to stay in front. I've got Fernando right there. How's he gotten a pass off? Soul with a big shot, but saved by... <laughs> by Patricio, and then the uh, Croft team straight out of bounds. Cheers for that one. First substitution. Adama is stuffed. I've got a lot of players that are absolutely exhausted right now, but uh, Adama definitely needed to be brought off. Now, I'm not going to play it past. You see what I mean? You see that fucking run? Sorry, I don't want to ch chop on it, like, bang on about it, but I'm just saying, I, I got fucked. I got screwed. Can someone please go to him? Oh, I don't want to bring out Bezo. It's deflected. It's gone to Sol! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, fuck, it's a little deflection from oh, from Ruben Vezo, I think, and it's just gone to Seoul, and what a strike, man! I don't fucking believe it. Look at that deflection, and look at that hit! It's so close to being blocked by Mikile. I've got a man all over him, and Neves hits it, just somehow gets away from Neves, and somehow squeezes in, and we're in some shit now. We are staring down the fucking barrel of getting knocked out here. I'm going to go ultra-attacking. I know every time I've gone ultra-attacking, it's resulted in, like, another goal or another lot. But, like, it doesn't fucking matter if we lose this game by 2, 3, 4, 5. We just can't lose it. We have to go for it. Martial, up the middle, maybe. Neves, he's going to get caught. I didn't want to take the shot. He's getting dispossessed by Vertonghen anyway. Oh, I'm fucking nervous. I'm fucking nervous. Memphis Depay comes on for Costa for them. We made a change as well. Vezo gets it out. Oh, it's going to fall to Timothy Weyer, who we just brought on. Martial is screwed. Oh, Weyer gives it up straight away. There's a tackle through the back of him. No one's at the back stick. Timmy Weyer, with his first touch, turns it over and across at the back post. No one's there. Oh, Weyer. Oh, Weyer. That's, is that not the worst? substitution you have ever fucking seen. I didn't want this to happen. I didn't want to lose the game. I didn't want to put it in the hands of the fucking... So, mate, pick the fucking ball up. This game is a joke. Just pick the fucking ball up. That's your fucking fault, Rui Patricio. Look at this. He's not escaping this. The ball's right there, mate. Pick it up, you dumb fucking cunt. Well, we... I guess we have to wait. We have to wait and see. The boos ring around. I don't know if that's just for this result or if that's because... We're now dropping out of the Champions League and into the Europa League. I mean, we'd still be in Europe, but 
Oh, we just have to hope. Fenerbahce, you'll become my favourite Turkish club if you found a way to take a point off Lokomotiv, and my least favourite if you haven't. And the final scores are Lokomotiv 2, Fenerbahce 0, and just like that, we drop into third place, and we are out of the Champions League, and we go to the Europa League. Maybe we drew this, we won and drew and lost the same amount of games, we scored the same amount of goals, Lokomotiv Moscow, with four, four games in, were on just two points. They drew two games and lost two games to start their Champions League campaign, and they finished in second spot. That is our fucking spot. That is why I needed to do it. That's why I had to do it against them. That's why I had to beat them, or at least get a point against them, because I knew that game was going to decide it. I knew, Fenerbahce, maybe, I thought, were going to be the ones that would take that second spot. No. I mean, credit to Lokomotiv Moscow. They fucking showed up toward the end when they needed to and somehow found a way in. We are dropping out on goal difference. So, straight out of one competition and into another, it is the Europa League, isn't it? It was the competition that, at the beginning of Season 1, I was trying to get into. I had no thought in my mind I'd be able to get into the Champions League in my first season, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe we, uh, we overachieved and we, we got in a little too early. At least now we're still in Europe. I want to, I, now that we're in the Europa League, I want to go on and fucking win it all, to be fair. We skip ahead and no surprises there. That's, is that four? Four simulated games we have lost in a row? I don't want to hear any more fucking whinging about, oh, simmy games is an advantage or it's, or it's cheat. Like some people have even called it cheating. Fuck off, this is a hindrance. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's probably because I hate myself. And we also get a player injured as well. Oh, <laughs> isn't, isn't that terrific? The round of 32 has also happened in the Europa League, so I guess we're about to find out who we've been drawn up against. We're not there. Barcelona is in this competition. Newcastle United is in this competition. We have been given Feyenoord. There's some bloody good teams in this in the Europa League, I tell you what. That injured player too, by the way, was Ruben Vezo for seven days, but it's been a little more than seven days, so I think he should hopefully be able to play, even if he doesn't, even if he can't, sorry, we've got Wilford Bolly. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think he can play. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll swap him out with Bolly, and I'll, I'll do that right now, but, uh, or after, but, yeah, no, I'll stick with the exact same starting 11, minus that change of Bolly for Vezo, but, uh, yeah, here we go then, we have been brilliant in the Premier League, and just the Champions League, we, we just threw away what looked like a, a, a relatively straightforward, all we had to do was take one point from our last two games, couldn't manage it, it's fucking annoying, but we're still in Europe, we've still got the Europa League to enjoy, and hopefully, yeah, I tell you what, man. I tell you what, man. I just... I didn't ever think... I didn't think I would ever win the Champions League. I just wanted to get through to the knockouts. That was it. But now that I'm in the Europa League, and now that I'm... I don't know. We'll see what sort of run we get, but... <laughs> I need to make up for my disappointing group stage in the Champions League. I need to go deep in the Europa League. We are back out onto Molyneux Stadium once again, pouring down. It was raining in the Atletico Madrid game, so it's giving me bad memories, but... Oh, come on. We've got to, we got to, we got to, we got to be better. We got to end this episode on a high and at least on a win. That, that is the bare fucking minimum. I don't care if it's Manchester City. I have to go at these boys. Chester down by Adama. Mendy's nearly gone through the back of him there. Bloody hell, I felt the contact. He's got it off to the left. Neves from downtown. Oh my God, it was on target. Edison had to stop it. Away goes Sane. Oh, Aguilar's got Sane in his pocket. One of the quickest plays in the playoff. He's off, he's off, he's off. I know he is. I know he is, I know he is. I was playing him off. Oh my... I've got to cut the fucking shit turnovers. That is the thing. The only time Ultimate is seeming to score against me, unless they get a fucking deflection or just score an absolute screamer, is if we turn it over in our own fucking third. That's how they're scoring against us all the damn time at the moment. Look, fuck me. Awful pass. What am I thinking? And I, I swore I played him off. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, 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 get in there please, off of... Look at where the ball is. That's how fucking close we were to taking the... Oh, to getting the equaliser. You're shitting me. It was right there, Martial. Swing your fucking boot at it. Come on, get it. No, nope. cleared away again and straight to the feet of Denea. We might have had one more chance if we were able to somehow get the ball back there, but no. Alright, well, we're once again down because of my own fucking stupidity and none of the shit turnover. It's killing me right now. One bad pass. You are going to pay for it on Ultimate Difficulty. Once again, to start this second half, plenty of white noise, radio silence. I'm just continuing to focus because I swear I cannot stomach this L. He's on. He's got to be. 
Oh, and again, it's just put too far ahead of him. He can't switch it to his right foot. He can't finish it. And Edison has stopped every single shot on target today. I honestly swear to God, he won't give me one. He won't give me one. Referee, if you don't give a red, I get a red card for that every day. You had better do the fucking same. Thank you. Oh, they, they never give a red card to a player off the ball, to a fucking opposition player, ever. Oh, that's a rarity. I can't believe it. But now I guess this probably means they're just going to sit back even more, aren't they? Great. They weren't doing that enough already. Oh, God. It's, it's over, I reckon. Tackle. No. Missed. Crossed in. Cleared. Man, and I thought we were going to get more stoppage time. Mm, it's always just millimeters. It's just so fucking close to just getting one more pass through and sending them away. But it's another horrific result. And it's all come down to my fucking stupidity. I want to throw something, but I don't want to throw this control. Man, I wish I showed you the stats. Fuck. I, I took 10 shots for the game. They took two. Oh, they, that's all they need, though. One good chance off one shit turnover, and then they will end you. I did say I was going to swap up Vinagre's uh, drills. I will do that very soon. But um, I, yeah, we've got one more game to simulate in this month. Then we'll leave it in January. Now, by the way, we are going... I'm going to simulate the game against Bournemouth because I'm a fucking idiot and I never learn my lesson. But we are going, ladies and gentlemen, for five simulated losses in a row. Can If it, if this hap if it happens, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. Okay, look, they've lost their last three games in a row. They're going to magically pull out a win, like they just to make it five in a row. Five in a five in a row. Five in a row. You're fucking kidding me. Is it going to happen? No, it's a fucking miracle. And they missed a penalty as well. Oh, ho, ho, that penalty would have put him in front. Who knows how the game would have gone after that? Oh, thank you. Just thank you. Four, five in a row. I would have. Oh. We'll see who these boys are. We've got Ampadu, Estevez, Estevez, whatever, uh, Cock, Caldera, and yeah, that's about it. A lot of players going away on loan now, which is good. Uh, oh, we've maybe got one here. Uh, Oliver Graham in Scotland, a max overall of 70, minimum potential 74, 94. It looks good. Value's okay. Oh, let's see. He's on the fringe. Even a bloke like this is on the fringe, I'm telling you. So we'll keep looking at him, and he's probably the only one of the bunch so far. What have I been saying, boys? My criteria is very high. It's very, very high. Is there anyone in England? Oh, Peter Cox right toward the end. Nice potential. How's the value? 1.4. You are straight in, my son. Thank you very much. And in Ireland, Ender Gillespie. The potential is eh. The value is eh. So maybe not for him. I think I saw another decent player in there somewhere. No, maybe not. I think, again, we're still struggling to find the, the talent from Ireland. I'm, I'm kind of regretting sending a scout over there, to be honest with you, even if he is, even if it is his own country. But it's far from over, okay? Look, we're pretty much at the halfway stage of the Premier League. We are only four points off top. We're in the top four. We were never going to win the Champions League, were we? It was, it was out of the fucking question. But the Europa League, I feel like we maybe have a bit more of a shot at, and I genuinely want to give it a real crack, that's for sure. So we've still got plenty to play for. I'm just going to keep spirits high. And now that we're in January, I might even look to freshen up the team a little bit. A few pre-contract signings here, a few transfers there, and maybe letting a few other Deadwood players go, even though I don't have too many. But you know what? Plenty more life left in this uh, in this season, I believe. I really do. Until the next video, guys, my name is Master Bucks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.